All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. It's your boy, Dave, coming back at you live. It is a happy Tuesday. Hope you guys had a fantastic night of sleep. And here we are for another brand new trading day. Let's get started here. We got it's another record for the S&P 500. Gains for the mega cap tax stocks drove the broad index higher during Monday's trading session, leading the index to close at a fresh high of 5,473.23 points. After adding 0.77%, the mega cap gains also boosted the information technology sector by 1.2% with Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, and Meta platforms all finishing this session higher. The NASDAQ Composite also rose 0.95% to finish at 17,857.02 points. This performance comes after both indexes posted their seventh weekly gain in eight weeks. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed just behind two indexes, snapping a four-day losing streak with an increase of 0.49% for the session. So that's what we got this morning. Getting into our watch list, Rally, number one gainer right now on the penny stock board here. We got a nice 53 cent breakout entry and it hit up to 75 cents so far. So congratulations for those that have participated here on Rally. Uh, even better, this was a very nice surge here from the like 20 cent level here all the way to 57. Let's take a look into what is going on with Rally. Obviously, it looks like they have some sort of PR for this type of move. So let's double check what the PR stated. Uh, Rally at 8.30 a.m. at Reliance Global Group provided update on pending Spetner acquisition. So as an acquisition news, under 10 million float. So low flow, 7.5 million float. USA Financial Insurance Broker Company. So... Right now, it's been making lower highs since it hit 75 cents. Uh, we have a current support that bounced off from 60 cents. You can always use the previous breakout level at the entry as support as well. Uh, but right now, I would prefer to see the 60 cent hold because that's where around the VWAP is at. All right, other than that, let's move forward to the next stock. We got ASNS. This is currently the top third gainer. I didn't put NLSP on the watch list because it's not something that I'm particularly interested in trading today personally, but ASNS is currently at the top third gainer, trading at $2.50. So that this was our first entry level that spiked us up to about $2.78, pulled back down to the previous Breakout resistance to support, buyers came back in. Second round at 265, making it run all the way up to 295. So I liked this play on ASNS. Right now, it's just been making lower highs and lower lows since the high of the day here in pre-market. So I do like ASNS setup because it is coming down or has down to the 200 and the market opens. It's a easier to play stock as to the next stock, which we'll talk about, but, you know, which is CMTL. But ASNS came all the way down. Let's look for a lower high, higher, you know, that pattern to break and, and reverse back on up is what I'll be watching for. Obviously, the 200 cracks, well, then you got the 500, but I'm not looking forward to seeing that 200 crack. USA Tech Company at a 4 million flow, so another low flow stock. The company does not have any fresh news this morning, but did want to have... After hours yesterday, they did partner with another company, a major U.S.-based IT software and services company to expand access for its cybersecure, et cetera. So uh, 4 million flow means, you know, if we get some volume, ASNS, I think at the reversal, it's going to be nice. On average, it trades at 2.3 million in volume. And already today, it has traded 20 million in volume. So definitely at that 10x mark on ASNS. And then moving forward, I have MLGO. This is currently the top fifth gainer trading at $5 area range here. So $5 broke through earlier. This was the most hottest play this morning. For those that did play it, you got that 455 alert that came out, okay, around 735. And then we got all the way up to 625 so far. So big treat for everybody here that played MLGO. Obviously, $5 leads to nice dollar runs. And now $5 is now great support. So we need to make sure this $5 holds, um, $5 cracks, then yeah, expect this to come all the way back down to where we started or maybe even lower. 
But MLGL has been a big runner for the past. Uh, in the past, we have played MLGL many times. It's a known runner because of its nature of a low float at 1.7 million float. It's a Chinese tech company. And we don't have any new news this morning. So just keep that in mind. It's a Chinese pump. Okay. All right. Next stock is the CMTL. Going down the list here, right below MLGO. This one is recent kind of popper. The only thing is it's a little bit lacked in volume. It's got about 2 million in volume traded now. Um, I personally... We'll watch to see if $3 becomes support and maybe CMTO could continue to do a little bit of a higher low pattern, but uh, it's already kind of ran up here into market opening and to, we got two minutes before market open. So, you know, um, I think if two, $3 cracks, you got another a little bit of line area at 285, but uh, I'm, I'm really just looking to see if it's going to get a um, $3 support holding or not. But CMTL running up on this brand new third quarter physical 2024 results, and they entered into a new $222 million credit facility. All right, market's going to open up here in about a minute. Last but not least, I have MBIO. I decided to put this guy again. It does have, I believe, a great chance of potential offering. Um, but, you know, this is something to keep in mind. Uh, I think there was a play earlier at the 98 or 97, and then we did get up to 110. So uh, we did... If you decided to trade this a little bit, um, it did hit the uh, PT level. Okay, So 97 to 107 was the uh, play. And we'll see if it's going to be able to get back above $1. So $1 is going to be a very strong natural resistance for these micro penny stocks. Other than that, for futures today, uh, we did have the 830 news spiked on up and is down to the 200. Here we go. Market's open. Let's have a great day. So you got the uh, 14 EMA that it did cross below the 50. So it is on the death cross mode. Reminder, tomorrow is a market holiday, Juneteenth. So market will be closed. So just FYI, keep that in mind. Let's go down the list here on the small cap list. We got Rally. That is something that I'm, like I said, interested as long as the 60 cent holds. We just need to break out of this lower high. Um, 200 EMA is support. Uh, one thing that I'm watching here on the five minute chart is a 200 crack since it is bearish right now. Uh, then you can potentially see that to that pink deviation line. That's what I'm probably thinking that the traders will like to take it down to because right now it's an iffy area because right now the market is kind of going red. Uh, here on the you know, NASDAQ, it's right at that mark at that neutral line here. So right now it is slightly red. The only thing is this 200 EMA is a strong support at the moment. So look, looking to see if the buyers are going to keep on trying to buy it up since we did see a little bit of a spike here earlier at 915 and then just kind of failed at the VWAP again. So I think buyers came back in here. They're going to try to push through the VWAP. Uh, but again, we'll see if they can break through the VWAP or not. Rally, same thing here. Got a little quick spike from the people that bought a 60 cents support. Just unfortunate resistance at 70 cents right at the downtrend line as well. So Again, it's not always so smart to trade into the market opening. Some people like it. For me personally, I like to wait for the first five minutes until the wave is kind of, I get a get a better idea. AS, ASNS looks better to me right now. Like I said, ASNS is one of those stocks that came down um, and, and it, maybe there could be a nice little dip opportunity. Uh, looks like it did come down to the 89 EMA around 235. And now we're coming to 250, got a 287 up pull right now. So watching the 250 level and ASNS, 250 break worth watching 287 up halt okay right now and you're getting a nice little reversal which you know what we talk about usually does after a certain trend so in this case it's been on a downtrend so when the market opens it tends to get a what a little bit of a reversal pop so the market is back in the green then not it is trying to sustain back on the move the green here so it's been bouncing off that 200 so good job for the bulls here holding strong the only thing is can we get a vwap roll here is a big question here 
So view app here again on NQ. SNS not being able to sustain back above 250. CMTL got a nice pop after holding that $3 right now. So looking pretty good. So right now, NQ 200 EMA to the VWAP. Now looking to see if the bulls are able to get the VWAP roll. If not, then the bears are going to take back charge again and try to crack 200 EMA, like see if they can crack it or not. MBIO. Okay, you got MBIO trying to break back above $1 again. CMTL still going higher. Three ninety two. You got four dollar big natural resistance. I, I like rally still. So watching rally for the uh, rebreak out of the downtrend line at the seventy cent mark. So I would watch really for a solid 70 cent. That's been a lot of wicks there. So if you can see a, a nice closing, I believe really can get a very nice run. But, you know, that area at 70 cents is going to be a little bit tricky. So you have to be making sure you're paying attention right now. NQ, um, waiting to see if it's going to get a VWAP roll here. It's building a little bit of nice higher lows right now and a higher high. So we're probably coming up towards uh, probably this area here in the line I'm going to be watching. Okay, RELI, we are seeing a 70 cent break here. Again, this is our opening alert. Very nice. So far, so good, folks. That is a nice pop right at the market opening, or not at the right market opening. You got an 81 cent up halt now on Rally. 81 up halt. 70 cents to uh, a nice pop so far here. <clears throat> AMCS 6 BRTS okay, and Q BRTS 50 EMA on the five minute chart is going to be the next area of resistance to break through. Rally definitely lock something in, and then if you're deciding to hold the rest, you do not want to risk below your entry. In fact, probably a good idea to move your stops up. We got a halt up now at 83. LCB, 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 LCB. LCB, It does seem like uh, buyers are still strong here on NQ. Testing the 50 EMA again and should try to make a new high of the day here unless it makes a lower high. Rally is still my number one right now. 86 cents, a new up halt. Now we just got to build 80 cents as our new home base. Easy way to make money in the stock market is look for stocks that had good volume, nice run up, and then look for that pullback initially towards the market opening. And then get that, it's like nine out of 10 times, you're just gonna get an easy, nice money. So for those that don't like participating in pre-market, all you gotta do is just kind of go back 
to the previous place so maybe check the prosperity trades channel and then be like okay look for the setups that are that ran up nicely and then pulled back down into towards the 200 or whatever the hero EMA might be for that particular stock and then those are easy nice support buys Okay, so NQ got a rejection at the 50 EMA and the 5. Like I said, to watch for that's going to be the next resistance line. And now we did crack back down here. So um, I would say try not to get chopped here. Um, mark it back to the red again. So it's one of those days where you're at the neutral zone, goes up about 15, 20 points on the green, goes down again, 15, 20 points down. MBIO, um, if you're still holding or got back in at the one dollar break, it is looking still delicious from the ninety seven cent here. So, if you look at the Prosperity Trace channel, we're on the stock chat. Scroll up. Uh, got a nice. 97 MBIO. That was actually the first alert that came out earlier in pre market. So, only two stocks is MISA or MESA and AMEX, which really is not on my watch list. We can go back and visit that here. But right now, we got a great run here on Mr. MBIO. Now, keep in mind, um, check the filings on something like this. It's been a multi day runner since we played this yesterday as well. And I think it ran up some other day as well. So okay, back to rally though. Rally is still nice. It got a 93 cent up hold now. 93 cent up hold. XPOF, MBIO, 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 another new high today. Okay, well, um, MBIO being a big, nice spike there. I like Rally still. I think Rally has, uh, I mean, you know, test a pretty good amount, but I think, you know, if we can get that 80 cent support forming, that could be very nice. As you can see here on NQ, um, it, it's just kind of ping ponging back and forth here. It, it does, you know, this was a it's just initial opening market pop reversal, and then now the shorts are trying to take this 200 again. I remember 200 cracks, they're going to want their uh, ping deviation line. So here on the five minute chart, I'm watching for that line to really get a candle crack below that for us to see a 
Nice continued bearish move down. Okay. Yes, we are brothers. Okay, so rally. Uh, this is number one gainer today this morning up 255%. MTIA, okay, so NQ just made another new lower low. So it's a new low of the day. At the 21.80.50 mark there. 21.86, I think. What is it? Sorry, 21.80. Yeah, it is right. So we're, we'll see if the Bulls can hold that. Otherwise, uh, there's a guy I want to see continued crush move. Continuously, buyers are still trying to hold the 200 here in the five minute chart on NQ. W-W-W-T-B-L-T-C-L-E-U-H-E-S-M-S-E-R-U-A-A-N-C-M-T-L-T-B-L-T Mesa, Mesa. Okay, I think we had a play for Mesa. Looks like it's making a new high of the day here. Let's double check here the play on Mesa, which was for 140. So Mesa is looking good from the 140 break. Mesa. So this is another winning play here guys if you guys decide to grab this ticket here today on mesa at 140 it is a winning ticket here as well coming up to 160. so mbil check asns check mlgl check mesa check rally check rally check i mean Everything hit except for AMIX, which was for 175, which we'll have to revisit that here. Let me double check what's going on with AMIX for 175. FDIA. Okay, so yeah, that's probably not going to happen today. Yeah, no. no. That's not going to happen today. Let me double check what happened here. AMIX looks like I had a quick. Yeah, yeah. no. It's not a go at 8.03. So I'm going to go ahead and retract AMIX off the play. So right now at the moment, there is nothing active. -E. AMSC. Okay, so we're making another lower low as um, uh, the shorts are continuing to try to crack that 200. And once it does, yes, we will try to see a further plunge. TRMD. Rally, I said we got a pretty decent amount of run there. And 80 cent needed to hold, or I had another line at 75. So it's just pretty much done for now. It has an LSP. 
Uh, just not a big fan on that look today, but you know, it's number one gainer now after really getting a little pullback. Yes, and that's just not enough sauce today. You know, CMTO, we have not been able to touch this, at least for me today. So um, I think this is a little bit of a late move already now. So I, it doesn't, I don't feel comfortable trying to chase into four here. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the four dollar decides to build solid support. I mean, you got a little bit more room here on the daily for sure. Okay. <clears throat> MVIO is currently the best looking one. And then if you're in CMTL as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's worth mentioning, watch for a $4, whole dollar shuffle there on the CMTL. CMTL, $4 strong resistance. We're watching for a whole dollar shuffle. And Q once again, another lower low. GLNG. Market is down about 17 points again. Again, about expect 15 to 20 point dip on one each side and then start trying to get back to the neutral zone. I've seen these days many times now where it tends to do that unless until like, um, you know, SPY or some other indices starts following along. Usually it's the ES that I watch, SPY. So it came back down another 15 points and then it's trying to reverse back up again. A pretty decent spike there just now, 73 to 190. So it is looking more bullish now. If the bulls can continue this nice move back up, you got a 14 EMA though, right there on the five that we got to watch out for 197. Five key down on me. Market still down six points on yeah. NQ. CSIG. LCB. LCB. Looks like straight back down again. So bears are in control. They want that pink deviation line, in my opinion. H-E-F-L. Okay, hello. L-I-C-Y. So CMTL is getting the $4 shuffle. Coming up to 100% mark. Uh, 
Queen. CMTL. You got Relly trying to do a view app role here again. Um, I think Relly still might have another shot. Watching closely here on Relly. So watch for that view app roll to now the 77 cent mark. I think CMTL for me is going to be a missed opportunity. That's fine. Let it run. All right. If you want to take that four dollars, completely up to you. Yeah, I would feel comfortable once I see the 77. I don't want to see this thing getting faked out into 75. Can get to 77, then I'll be a believer for more. Anything that's LMG, AMSC, LRHC, ACMR. Hey, Rally guys, coming on up. Really looking good. Guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this rally ride here. Let's get it. Let's go. Really looking great. Okay, so we got 89 cents a pulse. Okay, so we got about uh, 10.01.02. 10.01.02 .02 on all time. Uh, NQ is trying to reverse back up again. Northwest. 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 
Okay, uh, NQ, we did get a VWAP bounce up there again. And Q got a little spike into the VWAP and then kind of pulled back, but it's still making a nice higher low. And once again, NQ is back up five points. So it's doing the same thing we talked about. So it'll go up another 15, 20 points, pull back down to the neutral zone again. Um, I think we need to watch this line today very closely. Uh, it's going to be 2184 line there. So that's the, currently where around the 200 EMA and the five minute chart is. VWAP is known to be a strong resistance. So good area to sell into. Yeah, big, big short back into from the view app. Here we go, folks. It is 10 of wine. So we're coming up to $1. 104 is the up halt now. What a treat here. $1 natural resistance. Keep in mind. One oh nine up halt. One dollar needs to become support. Remember, a really strong one. Resistance needs to become support or more. FNGR. ISPC. <clears throat> Alley debate looks like I already went ahead and calculated 400% on rally to be at 111. 
and 0.89 at 300%. FNGR. FNGR <laughs> Hey. Okay. Remember, one dollar is resistance, so shorts are gonna attempt to try to short there. And Q uh, is trying to reverse at the down at the 14 EMA. We'll see. Okay, for now, it looks like rally is done, um, or it's coming back to reality after getting extended on the 10 EMA. So we do need to watch for that 10 EMA bounce or the flag there, if it's going to be able to do so. But that was a great uh, watch out for the $1 because it's extended there. Um, I'm watching CMTL. It looks like it wants to do another $4 shuffle. NBIO at the VWAP role as well. So a couple of names for CMTL. Uh, we're watching at the $4 shuffle again. And you got MBIO with watching for a VWAP role. Okay. MLGO, I mean, it's pretty much got trashed after a huge run up. A big shorts uh, on that one. So NQ pushing through, reversing nicely there. We got the 50 EMA that we are going to need to face through again. MITQ, 
<clears throat> B wrap resistance. Overall looks pretty healthy. Okay, coming up to 50 EMA now. NQ is looking pretty bullish here again, but again, just watch that 50 to 20 point mark on NQ. It tends to keep from each side a reversal. CMTL failed the four dollar break. K and Q, nice higher lows, trying to do a higher high here again. Right now, Rally is still the prime runner. Um, and MBILs will probably will be this top second. Currently, MB, uh, Rally and MBIO are my top two stocks this morning. Okay.
Now, when a stock is already up 330%, we usually talk about potentially seeing a 500% runner here. So I do think Rally uh, has continued uh, more room to run. Uh, I have a line at 124. So I do think, you know, it is worth watching at Rally the uh, $1 whole dollar shuffle. So once again, this is a big resistance line and we do want to see that nice, um, you know what I mean? We, we want to see a nice uh, big area, $1 here getting a support and, and seeing if it's going to be able to get a continued uh, breakthrough there. So we are trying to pierce through that $1 again, but uh, let's see if we can get that $1 natural candle break there. So right now it has been the Wix. So waiting for the candle to close above one. One oh eight up halt. <clears throat> keep in mind we do have um the first hot hour coming to an end in about 15 minutes and then we'll take a quick five minute stretch break and then get ready for 20 minutes till 11 a.m ripper dip time Okay, I'm waiting for this to close at $1 and we got to get this volume kicking in. You got a 110 up halt now. Okay. Still waiting for that one dollar to close. Remember, stock's already up three hundred fifty percent, so I'm thinking might as well hit five hundred percent today. That is, if one dollar can build a support. Not being able to break the 50 EMA here on the five minute chart for NQ. So still known to be that strong resistance mark today for it. Again, 15, 20 point move on the bullish side, comes back down. Same thing on the bear side here, Michael's red. Still holding the VWAP though. And Q <clears throat> trying to see if it's going to hold this trend line or a crack. So, spell strong resistance at one dollar for now. On really like I said, if Rally's not getting the show, then look for the top second top runner, which would be, in my opinion, MBIO, which was what I said. And MBIO is grinding back up from the VWAP roll that I mentioned. So VWAP roll happened here at 108, and we're just hit up to 124. Uh, a little bit of higher lows, just a little bit of a higher high extension there, but still riding the 10 EMA. 
But the key here is to see if it's going to be able to break through that high of the day at 130. RTS, APDS, RAP, RAS. Okay, MBIO oh, climbing back up nicely here. The RTS. A massive pullback after the crack of the trend line. Hey, right now, NQ is very bearish. Should make another new low of the day here. Geo. Here. I am we are getting, we're still in the death cross mode. Remember, we have not seen a golden cross today. ATRC. RLAY. You can see here this line on this five minute chart. We are not getting a full body candle cracking here below this line here. So I'm going to wait for that. Once we do, then we should be seeing a nice full crack. Uh, but this game is. 
still in play where it goes 15, 20 points. Uh, I need, we need to, the moment that it stops, it's cracks that pattern, then you can go ahead and fully short it down. Um, that's when, you know, you're going to just enjoy a nice bearish move down, um, and let all hail, all hell loose and let yes, the, uh, spy follow along and go into red. But right now the game is still 15, 20 points. Buyers trying to come back in, but we'll see. MBR coming down and same thing with Rally. So kind of on standby mode right now. CMTL is back above VWAP, so maybe worth keeping an eye here. Here, SNR, I'm Uh, I'm going to give $4 candle break here and watch uh, for the uh, play on CMTL. Uh, I, I just like this because of the daily chart, and that's about it. I'm going to keep tight stops on this, though, because... Uh, I mean, right now, I think we'll be fine, but um, it's just not something that I'll be playing towards the afternoon. But, you know, if it doesn't get back above four, it doesn't really matter. I don't care for it. If it does get a $4, $4 shuffle, then I'll, I'll participate here. But now we're still below four. So just be on the standby if you're interested on that one. Same thing with Rally. If it ever comes back above $1 there. <clears throat> Oh, and by the way, yeah, I think um, I may not have gone to everybody on the DM. Some of you guys did send me a message during my vacation time. So, you know, I may probably why I've not gotten back to you. I may have seen it, but I never got back to you on it. So um, I will get back to you guys to those that did send me a message. Um, my hope is by end of today. So.
So just going to be watching CMTL and Rally. Those are going to be the two stocks that I'm going to be watching for now. Um, pretty chill day on NQ. I, I don't think today's a difficult day. Yesterday, I think, was a very um, difficult day to trade just because anytime there's lots of algos moving in and out during any time market makes all-time highs and there's just a lot of battle. So a lot of days when the market is making all-time highs, you just don't have that history to go off on. So it's going to be a tough day. On days like today, for example, we've already have the lines that's drawn and we have history. So it's obviously was not able to break above um, the um, all-time high line here at 2270 area there. So it was close, but it did not. So got rejected right off you know, that line there. And then just bears are still just kind of enjoying this here. So I, I don't think today's uh I think today's a pretty easy day. Um, easy day to get caught though. Also, if, I mean, if you are over trading, which I said, not a good day to do so today. I mean, it's just chill day. You don't need to be going in too hard. Like when there's a lot of new high of the days, everyone gets excited and uh, things get a little crazy. So those are days that we just need to watch out for. But besides that, should be all good today. And, um, you know, I think the fortune you made here, it's going to be a big thing if it's going to be able to get back above the, the 50. If, if it's going to stay below like this the whole time, I say you got a better shot at just taking those short entries every time it pops into those resistance at VWAP or 50 MA. Um, and then just kind of tank it down to the 200. You can see here many times um, they're covering in towards that 200. Um, we have not exactly touched the deviation one line today for the NQ. So I think that's another reason why the bears are trying really so hard to see if they can get that, but. All right, guys, so we're going to take a quick five minute stretch break and we'll be back here on the mic and see what we got in store for us in the 11 a.m. river dip time.
All right, guys, I'm back. So it looks like we have about 23 minutes before 11 a.m. Rally um, is actually holding up pretty good still. You can see that the stock is still holding that nice higher lows. So it's got this um, trend line support here still holding out. Um, and we need to just be mindful of the lower highs trend line but overall really we had a really fantastic day you know with the first play second play third entry play um and now we're just waiting ultimately for the fourth big breakout at one dollar but um you just always need to keep in mind as the price gets higher and higher and you are looking to play that you're paying a higher premium so Make sure that you guys are uh, not going in too hard there. I mean, you know, you want to be earlier and, you know, you can go in a little bigger size. But let's go down here to list real quick. CMTL under $4. We got already know the drill waiting for the $4 shuffle. ASNS. Um, it's just dead. Not something that I'll be participating at this point. MBIO. It's well above the 97 cent entry. And on this particular one as well, you can see that it is holding up nicely still. Um, this nice, beautiful higher low trend line. So it is still bullish, which is, like I said, the rally and NBIO are my top two plays based on the just the volume and the setup and all that. And I think that's about it. You know, you don't really need to be focusing on these other gainers. They're just so low volume. So top three would be rally, MBIO, and CMTL on the side if it ever does get the four dollar break. Rally number one watch. Brothers. Rally's testing this trend line. It's trying to wedge out of the down trend line. Worth watching here. 
NQ is testing this uptrend line. We'll see if it holds or cracks. Personally, I think it's going to make another lower low. Has a good shot at it because it's been making every time it pops, it's making lower highs. So be be mindful of that. It's constantly making lower highs. So it's going to try to get that lower low because they're hungry and thirsty for that. We just got another lower low just now, guys, 166.75. We'll try to bounce up again a little bit. It's just been doing this back and forth here, Ryan Kier, after making a new low. Okay, really, we are getting very close here to make a decision in terms of like uh, whether it's going to crack or it's going to get a nice breakout. Okay, testing the deviation two line on the one minute and the deviation one line on the five minute. So there's another new low, lower lows. You want to go ahead and cover into the lower lows, and then after it pops back, you got to wait and expect for those cover pops and buyers coming back in as well. So now you want to make sure that if it's going to get a candle closing below that 2167, or if it's going to be back above 2167 and close it. It is getting a little bit back on the oversold side, but it is still lower highs. You need to watch for a higher low now to form. <laughs> Yeah. 
की थी H E S F no. B K I fun. B K I B K I fun. S O S L. Okay. LCS. Okay, we got 10 more minutes. Um, uh, not much happening. I mean, you know, you had the rally, CMTL, and MBIO. We talked about uh, nothing significant has happened yet, but, you know, we are still waiting for that 11 a.m. to see if we're going to get one of those three to be a ripper or a dipper. I would say... Currently, CMTL has a better look for that rip because we're above the VWAP on CMTL. So waiting to see if we can get that nice roll into the $4 since this is our latest alert as well. So we need to confirm here CMTL at that $4 candle closing. So do not get faked out here. We need that $4 to close because 11 a.m. could be that dip time for this guy as well. So this is what I'm talking about. We gotta wait for that closing. So yeah, still traps happening here. You can see that from happening here, rejected here, rejected here, and they really faked people out here at $4. So that's what I'm saying. Gotta get the candle closing about four. But it's still, again, as long as it's holding above VWAP, I will be watching. But below view up again, and you know, then I'm I'm not maybe. CRK. Paying attention to it, so we'll see. It looks like rally is dipping, so that's not really setting up. That 10 EMA looks like it's gonna curl below the 50, meaning it's gonna be a death cross on rally. MBIO has not been able to break 130. Um, I guess that's CMTL. We'll see.
LRH. Um, you know, it's not really my thing to do, but you know, if you guys like the, like the dead cat balances, I mean, MLGO was a great runner in pre-market and we took advantage of that after, I mean, but you know, then the shorts came in. So it kind of plunged so hard that, you know, it's got a very nice low uh, entry wall which was 285 that was actually my last line that i had and i'm bouncing off that line here so um not saying it's too late or anything but it's worth watching here as you can see if it's going to be able to break that 360 line again and then go towards back up the four dollar more i think uh i think that 360 area would be like would be nice i'm, I'm actually going to look for that if it ever does, because I think MLGO, after having a big run earlier, it could present an opportunity for those that are sticking around for the afternoon. So just in case, uh, I will be watching that 360 line on MLGO uh, to about 375 and then $4. And maybe if it gets a $4 shuffle, you, you know, you're probably going to get another extra, you know, dime or a quarter there. So, um. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think there's a good shot at this thing to continue to get back up. Now, if it doesn't get back well, 360, I would say it doesn't, I wouldn't trade this because it's such a big space between 285 to 360. So, you know, don't buy between support and resistance, basically what I'm trying to say. You can see that the market is slipping, uh, the spy that is. Uh, and Dow Jones is red, but Nasdaq's also red. And we're finally, if you notice, we are now way above 15 points down. So bears are feasting and they will be looking to get their meal down towards the deviation two line looks like. So the only open plays that you can keep an eye on is going to be MLGO and CMTL. Obviously, that $4 was something you need to watch out for, that $4 shuffle. Um, and then if really somehow it gets resurrected again, then that $1 mark. And then MBIL for the high of day break at one thirty. So uh, that's going to be pretty much it for me. I'm going to start wrapping up things here. Overall, pretty solid day. Uh, nothing crazy. Um, but it's been a good overall day before we head into our market closing tomorrow on the Juneteenth. So hope everyone enjoys their day off and um, looking forward to an awesome rest of the uh, 
week after we come back tomorrow, uh, which will be Thursday, 20th, Thursday and Friday. And then you got the last one more week on June. And then that's it. All right, guys, we'll take care and I'll leave um, probably. I'm going to leave it on shuffle on the stock scanner. So you guys right now, there's not one stock that I like really particularly like. I mean, the setup for MBIO is probably the nicest one since it's making higher lows and it looks like it wants that higher high, but you just never know what that 130 high of the day here. So I'll leave MBIO here for now if you're interested because it is the only one that's making higher lows right now that I like seeing here. So take care, everybody. God bless you all and uh, have a great rest of your off day tomorrow. Remember, we're not going to be here. So see you guys back here on Thursday. Take care, everybody. God bless everybody.